Hey guys, Yvette here. Welcome to Willow Creek. Today is day 25 of Community Vlogmas. And the question is, I'm waiting for my kid to get out of work. Do you see deity as actuality, as archetype, as wisdom, or other? I guess it all depends on which one it is. At least for me. But... If I really think about it, I see Deity as I guess fact as actuality as something that is out there, maybe. But then there are some that I see as wisdom just wisdom that comes in you know and then I see some as thought forms like something that I made up you know um, kind of like when you make up a um, childhood friend you know like an imaginary friend that type of thing although I tell you not imaginary, I'm just saying. You know, kids are probably talking to, you know, spirits and whatnot, and pe people think that they're imaginary when they're not. They're just, they're just very connected. You just need to remember that. But anywho. Um, I, I guess it just, for me, it just depends on which deity it is and how they come into me you know how they come in into my life and what form they take because they will take the form that you are most comfortable with because they don't want to freak your ass out right I mean they freak you out like I got freaked out by, by Hecate and she came to me in my dreams and completely just um, I, I just saw her standing there and I was looking, I was like, who's that? And I could see she was talking to me and then she got closer and I could feel her telling me that I was ready and I was like, I don't think I'm ready. And you know, and I did say it on no disrespect, but I don't think I'm ready. And she just came in flying at me like this, you know, just like this into my, you know, to my face and then just disappeared. And I didn't mean to, I hope I didn't offend her. I don't mean to offend. So that's pretty much like actuality, right? Because it was in my dream and it felt so real, right? And, um. Because I just don't feel like I can. I know from watching everybody who does uh, work with her, she's very demanding. And maybe, uh, maybe I need to work with a deity that's very demanding to keep me from being so lax in my practice. But at the same time, Athena's not ready to leave either. So I don't know if they would work well together. And I hear that sometimes she just wants to be the only goddess. And so I'm just like, oh. and I wasn't ready to let Athena go either. So it was just, I kind of figured that if it comes down to it and she feels like, you know what, we're, we're doing this, this is happening. She's going to let me know. So, yeah. But I guess in some actuality, I can also work with Buddha. And with Buddha, I see as wisdom. So, like a thought form. And so that's not, for me, an actuality. You know, like physical or something like that. But stories have merit, right? You know, they didn't come out of thin air. It had to have been witnessed somewhere. 
you know and yes some things get a little, very elaborate we all we all have heard not to pick on not to pick on men because you know they're awesome at least some of them but y'all seen them spinning those long tails around the campfire mm -hmm. same thing happens with stories that we get from mythical uh, beings and creatures and whatnot I mean those kind of things so who's to say what's what's real or what's not who's to say what's true so anyway I don't even know if I answered the question but that's pretty much where I sit on DD. I just work with whatever form they feel um they feel the need to come to me in in order for them not to freak me out <laughs> just see alrighty guys so it's day 25 and I will be doing day 26 